from a lean standpoint, I guess, it's like there's over-processing, just dealing with that constantly. Yeah, if you can imagine having to walk, you know, two five-gallon buckets yeah. somewhere, you could trip, you could fall, you could spill it all over the place. And your machine has to be down while you're waiting for yes. it to all drip out. And and like, yeah. This new machine takes like, it could take typically a half an hour, yeah. 10 minutes, okay. depending on how clean you want to get it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to just suck all the coolant out and all the chips, and then put the coolant back into the tank, mm -hmm. then uh, you can do that. It could take 10 minutes. Yeah, wow. Um, if you want to clean the tank 100%, yeah. then it could take half an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, it could take longer, it could take shorter. Awesome, are there any kind of other like tips or tricks, any kind of quirks you've discovered with it? or like? Or has it just worked pretty well for the most part? Um, for the most part, yeah. um, certain materials like the cast iron, mm -hmm. it can really turn into mud in there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put magnets in there and um, it'll catch a lot of that stuff. And so we can just pull that out and it won't run through the sump cleaner. Okay, you wow. know? And it, we put it in a position where where the, it, the coolant has to pass it. Okay. So it won't go into the pump. Oh, nice. You'll get li a little bit, obviously, right. but it'll pass the, the magnets and the magnets will catch it before it goes in nice. to the uh, pump. We have suction and discharge right here. This is the discharge. Okay, so, so we have it hooked up to this to suck. This is on and we're just gonna switch it on to suck. Okay. Nice. So now it's just getting that down in there to get the coolant out. It's like 30 seconds. 30 seconds, wow, yeah. And you can start to see the metal chips. And then once it gets down to just the chips at the bottom, we're gonna raise it up on our forklift, just so it's a lot easier to work with and we don't spill the coolant everywhere. Um, and then we're gonna actually do that deep clean.